Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 2024 version of the Asus ROG Strix SCAR 16 G634. To open this powerful notebook, you have to undo 11 Phillips head screws. The one in the front right corner is captive, and it'll slightly raise the panel up. Start prying the front with a thin plastic tool or a lever tool. Try to raise the two corners a bit higher. This will pop the sides a bit past the end of the LED stripe. The rest is easy. Fully pry the sides and the back. On the inside of the bottom panel, we can spot a lot of plastic elements for greater internal structural support and dust filters for the three fans. The device has a 90-watt-hour battery. Its connector is positioned below the lower fan, and you must undo two Phillips head screws to remove it. Wear gloves to avoid short circuits. When that is done, undo the four Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the base. The capacity is enough for around seven hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the silent preset in the Armory Crate app and apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The panel self-refresh option is turned on in the Intel Graphics Command Center. The left SSD slot and the memory area are covered with foil. According to ASUS, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Interestingly, there are no thermal pads for the memory modules. Storage-wise, you can rely on two M.2 slots compatible with Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. The Wi-Fi card is positioned in front of the left NVMe slot. This can cause potential connection problems. There is a tiny cooling pad below the pre-installed SSD. This is a bit of a strange decision given the end price of this laptop. The thermal system is huge. It has three fans, two of them are normally placed and the third one is on top of the chipset. Three heat pipes are shared between the processor and the graphics card and we can spot one more for each chip. The smaller U-shaped pipe is placed on the metal plate above the GPU, and it also cools its VRMs and the memory modules. We can see three top-mounted heat sinks and two on the sides of the fans. The small seventh heat pipe connects the metal plate for the GPU and the heat spreader for the CPU. ASUS has pre-applied liquid metal on both CPU and GPU dies.